Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. Today, very, very cool video as popular app called Immersed, the company called Immersed, which basically creates a collaborative VR experience where people can get together, work together, and be productive within virtual reality, have been very cheekily behind the scenes without telling anyone, although they did say maybe a month or so ago, that they would be working on a VR headset. And guess what? Poof! It is out, it is gone, is it, it is here, and it looks freaking amazing, I have to say. So let's dive right into the story today because this is something that I think is definitely worth talking about. So let's just go to the, uh, to the actual article itself. Umrus Visor VR headset prices, new models, and pre-orders, which is available, guys, by the way, and we'll go into this in just a moment. Immers shares estimated prices for its upcoming Visor XR headset announces two more models and accepts pre-orders. Immers, the VR, the developer of a popular virtual desktop app of the same name, is developing an intriguing work-centric XR device. News of the super sharp Visor headset first appeared in August. More details about Immers Visor came quickly, painting a picture of a high-end, lightweight, mixed reality VR headset. In some ways, the visor could even challenge Apple's Vision Pro. Now, that is very true. Uh, let me just, okay, there we go. That is very true. I really do believe that this is possibly the only headset so far that's going to be coming out that could potentially rival, rival, uh, rival excuse me, Apple Vision's Pro VR headset coming out because some of the specs are quite similar in terms of the output and the rendering quality and we'll go and look at all this in just a moment so do watch this video until the end everybody but now let's just dive back into the actual article immersed visor prices and new model immersed shared estimated prices for the visor xr headset which now has three variants the visor that was previously announced featuring 4k resolution per eye a founder's edition visor 4k and visor 2.5k with a lower resolution. The Visor 4K model costs 750 US dollars, guys. Only, only 750 US dollars. How? I don't know. I don't understand. Where are they getting the money from? How are they subsidizing everything? Is it really that cheap to make a VR headset? I mean, guys, if it's that cheap to make VR headset, why doesn't just everybody? Guys, we should have a VR Essentials visor 4k and sell it for 750 dollars right if you like that hit the like button and i'll try and make it happen i mean come on is it only really only costing 50 bucks or 100 bucks to make a vr headset i don't know guys i just don't know i don't understand how they're able to get all these subsidies and all these kind of different things now we know that immersed are working with qualcomm directly and they're also working with intel so it is possible that perhaps some of the funds are coming from those guys or maybe they're just super well funded who knows i don't really know but at the end of the day, I mean, 750 bucks for 4K visor headset. Okay, there's no controllers, but it does have eye tracking, everybody. We'll look at the battery in just a moment. So do watch until the end, guys. And do make sure to subscribe to hit the notification bell after you subscribe, guys. So you get notified of all the cool new content that will be uploaded to the video very soon as well. All right, let's go back into the article now. Um, the visor model, so $750. However, it's only going to be $500 for the 2.5K, everybody. Just so you know, the Founders Edition will retail for $1,249, but it's $1,000 US dollars throughout the end of September. It matches the specifications of the Visor 4K, but ships six months later. So basically, I think this will be more of a collector's item, uh, you know, in terms of the Founders Edition one, okay? I'm not quite sure it will be, to be honest with you, I don't really think it's going to be... I don't think it's going to be really worth that much money. You know, Visor, you know, Emirates, come on, they're not Apple. Um, you know, they're not Meta. I, I, I mean, it's nice to have the, the Founders Edition, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying I'm not quite sure it will be worth 3K, 5K, 10K, 100K 20 years from now coming from them. But you never know. You never know. Never discredit everybody. So anybody, excuse me. So you never know. The budget Visor 2.5K model is the same as the 4K. But lower resolution, price at 500 US dollars. I mean, that is amazing, guys. Com uh, you know, especially as basically the price of um, the price of the actual headset of the Apple is going to be 3,000 plus US dollars. I mean, it's just crazy. It's just, just mad, guys. Just absolutely, absolutely crazy. Pre-orders and shipping dates. All right, let me just uh, see if there's anything about the 
battery life because that is something I would really, really like to know. Uh, okay, let's just read on a little bit here. Immerse will only produce 25,000 units of the Founders Edition visor. It features a Immerse Signature Orange on the translucent faceplate and official seal. So this is more for collectors, guys. Uh, I think, you know, get to keep it for longer. Founders Edition customers get a lifetime subscription to Immerse Premium Tier. Details are yet to be determined and can schedule a pre-release demo at Immerse HQ in Austin, Texas. A virtual Sky Lounge will let founders meet other early adopters. Okay, cool. A device 2.5K, okay, as I mentioned, $500. These are already affordable XR headsets, but Immerse said volume production savings could lower prices further if pre-orders are higher than expected. Pre-orders and shipping dates. So for all models, Amur says the visor will weigh 25% less than a thorn. Oh my God, that's gonna be like 200 grams. So just a few ounces and describes the color pass-through quality as higher resolution than what's available on the market. Ooh, ooh, they have to be very, very confident to be able to say that guys. Very confident to say that because honestly speaking, the Metal Quest 3 pass-through doesn't look that bad. But of course, if you're gonna compare it to the uh, DPVR pass through, which is still black and white, or you know, the pass through of the Meta Quest 2, maybe sure, or the Pico 4. Okay, fine, no problem. But at the end of the day, better that's what is going to be on the market. Better than you think the Meta Quest 3, better than you think the uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, let, let me know, let, let, let's spark this conversation, let's have this chat in the comments below. By the way, nice, nice HP there, and nice DPV. I love the colors today. The phone is really able to capture stuff much better since the new OS update. Anyway, back to the video. Uh, I really want to know more about the battery life. That is really something I want to know. Uh, and FOV and all these kind of different specs. If the Immerse visor sounds too good to be true, remember the XR headset is productivity device. Immerse describes it as a monitor and a TV replacement. The Immerse app supports up to five virtual monitors. The, ver the visor requires a connection to a PC or a Mac and will not include an app store. However, Immerse says it won't lock the headset. Expansion is possible but isn't guaranteed. All three visor models are now available for pre-order and a purchase will hold your place in line. You can cancel at any time before shipping begins as the visor nears production. Immerse We'll share the final prices. Immerse expected delivery dates in 2024, guys. 2024 with the 25,000 Founders Edition Visor 4K headset shipping first. 4K and Visor 2.5K will follow everybody. Immerse says all pre-orders should ship in 2024. Since the Immerse custom builds each visor for optimal fit, customers must upload a face scan before production begins, similar to Big Screen Beyond. That process will come at a later date. An iPhone with Face ID can provide the necessary details. Immerse is researching the possibility of using an Android phone's phone, excuse me, for face scanning. Immerse visor is spatial computing. The Immerse visor isn't a VR gaming device. It fits into the spatial computing category, making it an Apple Vision Pro competitor. All right, so there are pros and cons to that requirement. Every app you normally use on your computer is immediately available, but 3D immersion, excuse me, uh, is limited to what the Immerse app allows. Okay, as the company, <clears throat> As the company, wait, let me just bring it up. As the company name implies, virtual environments are supported and avatars can enter shared meeting spaces. The Immersed app is amongst the best virtual desktop available. Apple showed limited immersion in its Vision Pro announcement. Some movies will spill over onto your surroundings and VR games will eventually come on as developers explore what's possible with this new platform. The Immersed Visors 500 starting price is one seventh that of the 3000 US dollars Vision Pro and the standard $750 Visor 4K is less than a fourth of the cost. So guys, there you go, there you have it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the actual website. Let me just change the camera, there we go. We're gonna go to the website, we're gonna look at the FOV, we're gonna look at the battery life, see if we can get any details about this, because I do know that for the battery, it will be a separate battery pack, very similar to the Apple Vision Pro, but we just don't know how long it's gonna last, and whether when you plug it to the computer, to your PC, or a Mac, which is fantastic, and boom, 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 you have five screens on your, on your face, uh, whether that will also power the actual device itself or whether, you know, it won't. So let's just look at that very quickly. Uh, let me just go here. Let me just click on this. There we go. And let me go to the actual website. There we go. So this is the website, everybody. So here is some footage here, as you can see. I mean, it does look very, very cool, I have to say. Let me just bring it down. 
Okay, there we go. Here's a video. It does look pretty cool, everybody. It really does look nice. Um, I'll try to do some superimposing video if I can by downloading something onto my phone. I have to show everything on my phone now, everybody, just so you know. And do hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you get notified of all the cool videos, including a live party chat with MetaQuest 3 event and also all the next content that I'll be uploading about Pimax and also MetaQuest 3, HP Reverb G2, Pico 4, and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So all you have to do is click on pre-order like so, and then boom, there you go. We have all the actual specs here. So it's micro OLED per eye, guys. This is absolutely amazing. So basically what it means is micro OLED will really separate the blacks really well and the brights will be very bright. The black will be very black. So that's very good. Give very good contrast, especially when you're looking at documents or things on a screen where if it's in AR and mixed reality pass through, you know, it might be difficult to see certain things. So very good that it's got good micro OLED there so that everything is nice and contrasty, I have to admit. Uh, oh, I just closed it by mistake. Let me just bring it up again. There we go. And uh, all right. So hand and eye tracking, everybody. So basically, this is really, really awesome. Again, just like the Apple Vision Pro, you'll be using your hands to look around. And also, you, you, you have gaze pointer. So you look at something, and then the gaze might have a little dial. And then that how it, how it knows they will do something. And also, it's got eye tracking. So you know where, where you're moving and all these kind of different things. And for those with glasses, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work, whether you can, you know, uh, do the dial and just basically not have to use glasses or whether you will still need to use uh, glasses for the actual uh, product itself. Let me just go back to the specs. Uh, they seem to have disappeared for some reason. Okay, here they are. So let me just bring it down. Uh, so it's got six degrees of freedom, everybody. Wow, that is really, really amazing. So basically, six degrees of freedom means that you can walk, you can jump, you can move around in VR just as you would in real life. It's not like the Oculus Go, guys. It is six degrees of freedom, which is frigging, frigging amazing, I have to admit. Uh, okay, it's got, you can have up to five screens. I think that's more than enough, to be honest with you. A hundred degrees field of view, everybody. I think that is really, really cool because if you look at things like the HoloLens, it's got very narrow tunnel vision, or even the um, the Xreal, Nreal glasses are also very tunnel vision, very hard to see. This is 100 degrees field of view, guys. So more than this, it's, it's about this much. So very good. You'll be able to look around, really see all your five screens really well. This is like the Pico 4, everybody, and this is better than MetaQuest 2. So I think really, really good job, Visor. Really, really good job on that. Ultra wide screen, custom IPD, that is very, very interesting. Nose insert, okay, so you'll be able to block the light. Okay, very cool. Um, and also 25% lighter than a smartphone, that's just amazing. HD color pass through, although it doesn't have a stereo camera as far as I know, so some of the rendering may not be super good, but let's see how it goes. Stems and straps attachment included. So there you go, guys, there you have it, and you can add it to cart. So let's just uh, look at the pictures. I mean, it does look very cool. This is not a VR headset, everybody. This is a pair of ski goggles. No, not goggles. This is this is something new. This is a pair of glasses, guys. This is like a pair of Oakley Oakley glasses or really cool visor glasses. Very cool, like you know, like these um, these professional cyclist glasses, right? I mean, if I was just to to do a, a, a little basic search and I, I type on um, you know cyclist sports glasses and let's just check what comes out i mean guys it is basically pretty much the same stuff i mean look it is exactly like these explosion proof sport glasses or these capvo glasses or these i mean come on guys it really does look like a pair of glasses it really really does not look like i mean if i just go back very quickly uh to the actual visor website i mean look you could just see it is exactly like a pair of glasses, right? Exactly like a pair of very cool sport. They're not, they're, unfortunately, it's not, it's not 11 pounds, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, guys. So there you go, guys. There you have it. Um, you yeah, know, just wanted to share this news with you, with all of you. Just let me put the camera. There we go. Just want to share this news with all of you because this is really big news in our space. It's really, really big news in our space. So guys, smash the like so more people get to join the VR Essentials YouTube community and see the video, of course. Reshare the video everywhere you can. That would really help us. And of course, guys, smash the notification bell after you hit subscribe so you get notified of other really cool content coming very soon. Until next time, bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.